Hi, this is Andy Barclay with Remax Elite, and today we are visiting 16 Judy Court in Satellite Beach, Florida. Uh, this beautiful home is a three-bedroom, two-bath home with a two-car garage, and it is located in the Emerald Isles community. Uh, before we go any further, I will stop and give you a look at the neighborhood. Uh, this home is surrounded by beautiful homes. It is uh, very well located in Satellite Beach too, next to some great schools, very close to shopping, uh, close to the Pineda Causeway, but not so close that you can actually hear it. Now we are walking toward the front door. You'll see we have a nice glass screen door. And I'll show you before we head inside. Uh, all of the windows were, were replaced, I believe, in 2011. Those are two pane impact rated windows, and those were replaced throughout the home. The home, as you'll see as we walk through it today, has been very well maintained. In fact, these are the original owners. Uh, it's at 1,826 square feet. And like I mentioned just a second ago, it is a three bedroom, two bath plan. Uh, it is a split plan, meaning that the master bedroom is located on the side opposite the other bedrooms. Now as we walk down this hallway, I'm going to first turn back around so I can show you the inside of the entry. It is tiled. Uh, we have a coat closet off to our left. Now as I turn back around, we are looking toward the family area. Since we're here, I'll turn to my left and show you that we have a full-size washer-dryer that do stay with the home. Uh, we have cabinets here and a sink, obviously. And I'll show you the garage quickly. Certainly not the highlight of the tour, but as you can see, it is a two-car garage. Uh, currently has a beautiful 1969 Dodge Charger in it. Uh, but we do have a window here. Uh, I'll say that window was not replaced, so it's one of the, I think it may be the only window that was not updated. And then we have a side garage door here. Uh, as you saw at the beginning of the video, this is a large corner lot, so plenty of space. Now while the garage was not a highlight, the kitchen certainly is. Uh, we have a beautiful kitchen here that was just redone a couple of years ago. Nice 42 inch cabinets with the molding on top. Uh, quartz counters, really nice, very durable. And then a marble backsplash, marble tile. Very nicely done. All of the appliances stay again, including the uh, microwave that is also a convection oven. So we have some nice recessed lighting, tiled floor. As we walk through this doorway, and we'll head back to the uh, family area in just a minute, You'll see off to the left here, we have some French doors out to a very large screened porch that we'll see near the end of the video. Uh, the door here takes us into the master we are, where we are headed next. A nice vaulted ceiling here. And you may not be able to see it on the video, but there is no popcorn uh, ceiling texture here. It is the knockdown texture that many people seem to prefer. Uh, if you have not started your look in this area, you'll find that many of the homes do have popcorn, so it's nice that we don't have it here. We are looking at the formal living area, so lots of space. When the windows are open, it's nice and bright. I should say when the drapes are open, it's nice and bright. Uh, we have them closed right now because uh, it's so bright that it doesn't work well with the camera. Now that is the front entry that we came in at the beginning of the video. 
So turning back around, I'll give you another look at the formal living area. We'll work our way to the formal dining and then we'll take a look at the master bedroom. I'll point out while the formal living is carpeted, uh, we do have tile in the formal dining. Now working our way into the master bedroom, uh, one of the first things you'll notice is that there is a second French door out to the really nice porch back here. We'll take a look at that first. And in fact, the amazing pool as well. I'll tell you more about that in just a few minutes. So I'm turning to my right to show you the master bedroom. I'm going to back up just a bit. This is a king size bed. I'd like to show you that you can see just looking at the floor there is plenty of space for furniture in this room. You can see there is currently furniture. Uh, could be more, and there's still plenty of room to walk around. Now working our way toward the master bathroom, we have his and her closets. So we have one on the left, we have one on the right, we have a walk-in shower here with a light. Let me see if I can find the light switch for it. There we go. So a nice size shower here. We have a vanity with a double sink. Cabinets below, of course. I'm not a highlight of the video, so I'll try to keep myself out of the shot as much as I can. So we have the light there, and then we have the commode here, of course, and uh, one of those impact rated lights, easy to see because there are no drapes. So walking back out into the master bedroom itself, you can see from this angle it, it really does have a lot of floor space. A nice large room, great view of the pool in the backyard. We are now going to walk into the formal dining, which will take us to the kitchen, which will now take us to the family area that we have not taken a look at yet. Uh, here we have um, a great area for eating, uh, extension of the kitchen, not quite a breakfast nook, but a great place to have a family meal. And this opens up into the large family room. Uh, that is a wood-burning fireplace in front of us with a nice brick hearth. We have the vaulted ceiling in here as well. We have a third French door out to the porch. So lots of uh, access for the porch. Also letting lots of natural light into the home. So you can see the floor is tiled. work my way to the corner here and I will turn around just to give you another angle, another look at the room. I'll show you the fireplace. So very attractive, nice brick finish there. So we've seen the master bedroom. We're now going to take a look at the two uh, non-master bedrooms. They are, of course, on the opposite side of the house. And I'll show you, let me just back up. There is a pocket door. So if uh, younger people are asleep on this side of the house, you can close that pocket door. Off to our left, we have the guest bathroom and one of the two bedrooms. Now you'll notice both of these bedrooms are quite large. Uh, that is a king size bed. Again, pointing out the floor space. Uh, for a home on the beach, uh, it's unusual to find bedrooms this large. If you've been looking, I'm sure you've already discovered that. 
If you have not started looking yet and you're just doing some research online and watching this video, uh, you'll find as you start your searching or as you start visiting homes that many of them uh, do not have larger non-master bedrooms. Now we have a closet along the entire wall that is mirrored as you can see. As we leave this bedroom, I'll show you quickly on the right, we have a linen closet. And then on the left, we have the guest bathroom. Now, this bathroom has a tub-shower combination. As you can see, it's also very clean, well-maintained like the rest of the home. And turning to our right, we are now in the third bedroom, second non-master bedroom. Again, you can see it's quite large as we walk in. Currently being used as an office, but it would make a great bedroom. So we have two windows, letting in lots of natural light work my way back to this wall and I'll show you that we have a closet here not quite as large as the other bedroom but still quite large and now that we have seen the interior of the home I'm going to take you out back to show you the great backyard uh, like I said it has a large screened porch which you'll see in just a second but also a beautiful pool that has been resurfaced. Now just standing here, if you look at the furniture, you'll see it's full-sized. There's still plenty of room out here. Two ceiling fans. Uh, we have hurricane shutters for the French doors there. Uh, we don't like to talk about storms that much. Hopefully you'll never need the hurricane shutters, but you can save a significant amount on your insurance just by having them. So even if you never actually have to use them, they will still help you out every year when you're paying your insurance premium. So you can see the backyard is fenced and it has some nice landscaping so you have some privacy and before we head out to look at the pool I'll show you we have a generator that does convey with the home uh, it's uh, 5550 watts we like to keep those just in case we have a storm you might need to use it for a few hours or a day possibly if the power goes out but if you live here, you don't need to worry about it anyway, because you have the generator. In fact, you can be a good neighbor and run a cord next door or across the street. So we have a pool here. Uh, if you saw that little spray, that is the cleaner. It is a self-cleaning pool. Uh, it still needs a little work to get the leaves off the top, but it does most of the work for you. Before we head out into the backyard, let me just give you a quick pan of the porch. Perfect place to relax on a day like today. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Not sure if you can see the blue on the video, but it's a beautiful day. So it's nicely landscaped back here. The spa is heated. There's a uh, 50 gallon, 50 pound, I forget the correct terminology, but I'll show you in just a second. A large propane tank on the other side of the wall right there. And then the pool itself, a nice free form pool with some steps right here. Work my way to the corner. 
Uh, we do have an irrigation system, as you can see. So the roof is in great shape. Uh, again, very well maintained. Uh, these are the original owners. So we have a, uh, a great little seat here. So you can sit and relax. Now as I walk over here, I'll tell you that I've been told that uh, with community permission you can move this wall back a bit. So even though it's a large backyard, you could actually expand it um, to this part of the yard. And then as we peek back here, I don't know if you can see it, but that is the propane tank for the spa. So again, quite large. So here is your tropical paradise. Uh, in fact, we have a shower here. You could use it for the pool. You know, we're actually only about five minutes away from the beach in a car, so uh, you could also rinse off your sandy feet or your boogie board or surfboard here if you have one. So I keep looking at the pool. <laughs> I should have brought my bathing suit today. What a great day to go swimming. So heading back inside. Just to give you one last look. I will tell you that today we visited 16 Judy Court in Satellite Beach, Florida. It is in the Emerald Isles community. And as I just mentioned, it's just a few minutes away from the beach. It's close to some of the best schools in Brevard County, uh, close to shopping, close to restaurants. Uh, not too far, maybe two miles south of the Pineda Causeway, which means it's great for commuting if you are working uh, on the mainland. Uh, it's 1,826 square feet. As we've seen, it's a three bedroom, two bath home with a two car garage. Very well maintained by the original owners with a beautiful kitchen. Uh, if you'd like more information about this house or any other house in Brevard, you can give me, Andy Barclay, or my wife, Abby. Uh, we're both full-time realtors with Remax Elite. A call at 321-514-9862. Or you can go online to find out more information about this house at Brevard Homes and Condos. Dot com. Thanks for watching.